COVID has presented a lot of opportunities for Project Vision Hawaii, and it has allowed us to grow and expand our programs. Being mobile during this time has been a huge benefit. What we're doing overall is not only providing hygiene, but also providing health education, health services, and of course, what, what we've really grown to be known for over the last six months is COVID testing. We realized early on within the pandemic that there was a huge need for education around COVID, um, and there was a huge need for prevention um, and for surveillance. And so we developed this COVID testing program so that we could really understand what the trends were within our houseless populations, within different shelters, different encampments on Oahu, and so that we could identify any positive cases early. We have two different types of testing that we do. We do surveillance testing where we're trying to get um, anywhere from 10 to 25 percent of the population that's living in that encampment or that shelter um, tested on a weekly, a bi-monthly, or a monthly basis. We also do reactionary testing. So whenever there's a positive case or there are symptoms, we'll send teams in, our strike teams, to go in um, and see if, if there are in fact any positive cases. Some of them go to rotations, so places that they go to every single week. They obviously get to know the individuals really well. We've been able to build a lot of relationships through, through this testing. You have to have a lot of trust for someone in order to be that invasive with those uh, nasal swabs. This grant has really snowballed and we now do the testing for the Department of Health. Um, whoever calls the CARES line, it's us that goes to the houses and the hotels. Uh, we now have a contract with the Department of Public Safety as well, going into the jails and prisons to do their testing um, for their guards. We're doing pilot programs with the Department of Education so that we can try and get kids back to school safely. So this really has trickled down and you know reached into different departments. One of the exciting things that I wanted to share that's coming out of this grant um, and out of COVID in general for our houseless service providers is an app that we've developed. It's a way for all of the service providers, all of the shelters, all of the organizations that do street outreach to connect to each other and share information so that we can serve our clients as best as possible. It's also going to help us be able to respond to future pandemics, future emergencies that pop up. So we're really excited about that innovative solution that's come from COVID. It's been a huge blessing in disguise, not just for our organization, but for others, because we have been forced to come together and we are forced to find new ways, innovative ways to serve our clients.